The overall goal of this procedure is to provide a step-by-step -step demonstration of the biolistic transformation of a linear construct that contains a fluorescent tag. This is accomplished by first coating gold microcarrier beads with the DNA of interest. In the second step, the DNA is transferred to the C-neoformans cells by gene gun. The transformed cells are then plated and the integration of the DNA construct is assessed by PCR and RT-PCR. Ultimately, fluorescent microscopy is used to confirm the proper integration of the DNA product via homologous recombination. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods such as electroporation is that biolistic transformation results in a stable integration into the genome of cryptococcus neoformans. Demonstrating this technique is Tanya Taylor, a PhD student in my laboratory who has become proficient at this technique. Begin by using forceps to submerge orange macrocarrier biolistic discs in 100% ethanol. Then transfer the discs into a large petri dish containing dryerite, taking care that the discs do not touch the desiccant. Once dry, press the discs into ethanol-wiped silver disc holders. Then vortex a tube of gold beads and aliquot 12 microliters of the bead solution into one 1.5 milliliter microcentrifuge tube per transformation. Next, sequentially add two micrograms of DNA, 10 microliters of calcium chloride, and two microliters of spermidine freebase into each tube of beads. Vortex each sample. Then incubate the tubes at ambient temperature for five minutes with occasional gentle...